Okay, so we ought to hold tree trimmers responsible for the penalties of this. Topping liquid amber trees is unacceptable. It's never acceptable to top any tree. There are trees that are extra unacceptable that make the worst recovery, which is no recovery, absolutely destructive to the entire structure of the tree. Nothing the tree can do after being topped can ever resemble normalcy again. It's absolutely, absolutely murderous. And it's, I would say, illegal. I mean, there's a tree code, there's a code, there's a code, the city code, because people can't be decent without social rules holding them to standards of decency. It bugs me a little bit when I see people top trees. And who does it? Blankety blank. Tree hacks. So we have this term in the industry. People are total hacks when they willingly chop the tops off of trees when they just cut branches in the middle of a branch indiscriminately. Call that some major hackery. It's frustrating because it's selfish, it's short-sighted. That tree will live way longer than you and it isn't yours in that regard to cut it. That's my take, it's part of the commons. The trees on the street all match except for yours because you're a person who allowed a hack to destroy your tree and now it's going to die young and it's going to drop branches and bust your car and you're going to be biased against trees because you don't know that that tree wouldn't have done that except for the butcher job encouraged major response growth that was weakly attached and fell off years later when it was big and heavy and it crushed your car and it made you think trees are dangerous. What is dangerous is having no knowledge of tree physiology or any regard for the code. Because the code isn't created just to control people, arborists and botanists who understand how to keep urban forests healthy and beautiful created the code so everybody could know what to do when it come time to prune their tree. And maybe shame on the cities for giving up on tree care and putting it in the hands of the homeowner who is potentially going to fall victim to the predatory practices of hack tree cutters who are not arborists. They're not horticulturists. They're not artists. They're not caretakers or craftspeople. They're hacks. They're fraudulent hacks that are out there to take your money and do garbage work. If your mechanic did this to you on your car, you'd scream bloody murder and you'd go to the Better Business Bureau and you'd want blood. But you just don't know because we don't have education about beautification and maintenance of anything nice. It's just up to us to figure it out on our own. It's unfortunate. There are plenty of organizations around that want to teach. The Master Gardeners is a good place to start. The everyday layperson can get great insight on how to take care of plants from the Master Gardeners. You could also look for a certified arborist. There's a chance that your certified arborist is going to do the right thing because you wouldn't go through all that trouble to get that certification to not want to do the right thing. It's one of those self-selecting deals. You went and got it because you wanted to show people you're about doing the right thing and you really only want to do things right so you go and get the certification so you can make sure you're up to snuff. Many arborists are more skilled than the certification requires because if you're interested in becoming an arborist and you're interested in taking the International Society of Arboriculture's Certified Arborist exam, chances are you're a plant geek and a tree nut 
and you've already been curious and looking into a lot of this stuff, and therefore you know already, you see hackery, and you call BS, and you wish that those people could be run out of town on a rail for the damage they cause that lasts forever, ever. No correcting it. There's no correcting topping trees. There's none. Call me up and tell me I'm wrong. I dare you. Okay? That's all I got. I'm Zachary Smith. I'm an arborist. Plant health care. General pest control professional. Concerned for you before you have the problem is the best time to talk. Not after. I see dead and dying. Bad news all day long. It's okay. I can soften the blow. Give you a little hope. The tree next to you is not dead yet. This one's a gunner. It's what I do. If you have spiders or ants, cockroaches in your house, this easy stuff. Give me a call. If you got anything bugging you around the home or yard, give me a call. It's what we do. Smith's is a complete home and yard pest management professional. All right. Have a great night or day wherever you are. Zach out.